so I have five days to read four books. Oh, I actually love her, she is so funny. Like, am I okay? This month I have been adamant that I wanted to finish my TBR because it has been way too long since I've read every book on a monthly TBR. Now this month is slightly harder than normal because normally I have eight books on my monthly TBR. This month I had 10 books on my TBR and I have read six of those books. So I have four books still to go. So you may think, okay, Maisie, four books, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, yeah, the only problem with that is I only have five days left of this month. So I have five days to read four books. Am I being over ambitious thinking that I can do this? Yes, maybe, but I'm gonna try my best and we're gonna see how we go. So the four books I have left to read are Love Unwritten by Lauren Asher. This is the second book in her Lakefront Billionaire series. I have been put off reading this mainly because of the length, but I actually loved the first book in this series. I generally tend to like Lauren Asher books. I find them really easy and quick to read. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. I really haven't read much romance recently. So that is the first book. I then have Gold by Raven Kennedy. This is book four in the Plated Prisoner series. I loved the first three books in this series. And then for some reason, I have just like not carried on with it. Um, I don't know why. It's now been quite a while since I read the third book and can I completely remember where we are? No. Again, I think I've been put off this one because of the length. How long is it? It's like 650 pages. But again, my experience with the Plagiar Prisoner books are that they're actually really quick and easy to read. So that's the next book. I then have A Reign of Rose by Kate Golden. This one is the third book in the Sacred Stones trilogy. Um, so I really want to read this and finish the series. The first two books in the series have been five stars for me. So I'm excited to read this one. This one only recently came out, I think like start of October or end of September. Um, so it hasn't been sitting on my TBR for that long, but it is on my October TBR. So I need to read it. And then the final book is The Book of Asriel by Amber Nicole. This is one I'll be reading on Kindle because it's on Kindle Unlimited. I don't have the physical copy. I'm pretty sure this book is quite long, but I've been desperate to read it. I just, it just hasn't fit in yet. So hopefully I will now finally get to it. All I know is it's like a dark romanticy. It's a series. Um, obviously The Book of Asriel is the first book in the series. It's a series called Gods and Monsters, something like that. So those are the four books I have left to read. As I said, I only have five days to do it. Um, those five days, by the way, are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So most of it's in a working week as well, which makes it extra difficult, um, but I'm gonna do my best. So yeah, wish me luck and hopefully I manage to complete it. Is Monday. I started reading Love Unwritten yesterday, so Sunday. Um, I decided to go for this because I actually haven't read a romance book all month, I don't think. Actually, was it this month that I read The X Hex? I think that was this month. Um, but aside from that, I haven't read like a contemporary romance. And also it's on Kindle Unlimited and I just really wanted to read on my Kindle. So I am 36% through, which if I have a look in the book, let me see. Okay, yeah, chapter 26, so page 218. I have read quite a lot yesterday and this morning, but this book is over 600 pages long, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I still have quite a way to go. And obviously I now have, including today, four days left of this month. And I have three other books that I want to get to. The more I talk about it, the more I'm like, how the hell am I gonna read all of these books? Um, anyway, but yeah, so basically I need to get this book finished today, which means I need to read like another 400 pages today, which is gonna be tough, but we will see. I have to say it is a really quick and easy book to read and get through. I think on my Kindle, it says I have like four and a half hours left. So I definitely could do it, but yeah, it is a lot. It's annoying that all of these books I've got left on my TBR are long books. Um, that's just the way it's worked out. 
so yeah anyway that is my plan i need to try and get this book finished today um i'm enjoying this book i'm enjoying this book so far i generally tend to like all of lauren ash's books i loved the first book in the series i loved the first book in this series which is the lakefront billionaire series um i think i gave it like four and a half stars um and that one as well was really quick but i don't think it was as long as this book um this one again i'm really enjoying as i said it's really easy to read it's a small town romance between a single billionaire dad and his nanny. He's also grumpy. I'd say it's a bit of a grumpy sunshine trope as well, which I always like a good grumpy sunshine. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. They're currently in Hawaii. Ellie, our main character, has flight anxiety, which is something that I never used to have, but over the last few years, I now get it really badly. And so reading about that was hard. <laughs> It was triggering me and we are actually going to Australia next year and I'm really terrified of the flights because it's like 24 hours of flying um, and then there are internal flights as well. So yeah, reading about it has been a little bit triggering for me, but it's okay, we move. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying this story, it's quite sweet. The little boy in this, Nico, he has a disability as well, which is really sad but also nice to see spoken about in this book. I do just think it's way too long, like, like even where we are now, kind of like, Lots has happened because I've read over 200 pages, but at the same time in the like plot development of the romance, not that much has happened. Um, so yeah, I'm intrigued to see what's gonna happen in the next 400 pages. Maybe there's a good reason that this book is so long, we will see. But yeah, that is my plan for today is to get this book finished. Hopefully I manage to do that. Wish me luck. that is book one officially finished um i really enjoyed this i mean don't get me wrong it's ridiculously long right 600 pages is unnecessary but at the same time it really didn't feel like 600 pages it took me like in terms of hours reading a pretty similar amount to like most kind of romance books that are like 400 pages so it was really quick to read and i actually ended up not minding the length i think maybe if i had been reading it physically i would have noticed it more because physically it's obviously pretty thick but like the writing is pretty big it's spaced out because it has like a lot of like text messages and things like that in it so really like i don't think the length was a massive problem which i'm glad because that kind of had put me off reading this for a long time um so if you've been put off reading it by the length honestly don't worry about it it is not bad at all and especially if you can read it on kindle if you have kindle unlimited literally it's fine um right i need to go and get ready for the day now and then i will check in with you in a bit and i'll choose which book to read next okay guys i've literally just finished filming my november tbr and i thought while i'm here i may as well pick out the next book that we're going to read in this video also i don't think i gave my final like rating on the unwritten by the way um i'm giving that book four stars i really enjoyed it and then we have three books to choose from i think i'm gonna go for one of my physical books next um so either glow or a rain of rose i realized by the way when i introed this video which actually i only did just earlier today i said the plate of prisoner book was gold um but then when i've just filmed my tbr i've realized that that was wrong and glow is the next book that i'm up to so it's actually glow which is not great because i'm pretty sure this book is longer <laughs> than gold um but it's where i'm up to this is over 700 pages how long is a reign of rose okay much shorter under 500 pages so i think i'm gonna go for this just because i would really like to get another book under my belt um and then i would feel a lot better considering including today i only have three days of reading 
left to do this challenge. Um, so I think I'm gonna go for a rain of rose and I guess I kind of need to try and read the whole book today. Let's just hope it's as good as the first two books were in this series for me um, because yeah, I need to be able to just sit and binge this. I actually need to get back to work now um, because I've just used my lunch break filming um, and I need to grab something to eat and then yeah, get back to work. So I will hopefully get started on this book soon. <laughs> completely forgot what happened at the end of the last book and it means that I'd actually completely forgotten what happened at the end of the last book and obviously now, now that, as soon as I started reading this I remembered but but because of what happened it means we're like but because of what happened it means that the gang's not all together so like that kind of found family that we built in the first two books everybody's separate and everybody's just everybody's just separate and I miss them all being together so I'm hoping that this part of the book doesn't take that long but obviously like this is a typical thing that happens in fantasy books where characters get split up and have to do certain things on their own. I also think that maybe because the first two books were very much like romanticy, like the romance was the major plot point in the first two books. I feel like maybe now in this book the romance might take a little bit of a backseat and will be focused more on the plot. I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be true or not but that's just like the vibe that I'm already getting. I'm only 50 pages in on chapter 5. I've got a lot of reading ahead of me today but this is like the time of day like just after work when I sit down and read that if I'm not careful I will fall asleep. It actually happened to me yesterday. I need to try and push through and be strong. I'm gonna grab my water bottle I think and just keep trying to drink lots of water and not fall asleep and keep pushing on. I mean I've already read over 150 pages today um, including this so I need to not be too harsh on I need to not be too harsh on myself because yeah I knew that trying to finish my TPR was gonna be a very difficult thing to do. Yeah, anyway, we move. Um yeah, I'm gonna carry on. nine 26 past nine if we are going to be exact i can't believe that i thought i could finish this book today like am i okay when i woke up this morning i still had about 120 pages left of love unwritten it's a work day so i was working from home but i was working um at lunchtime i had to you want to go out go on then. at lunchtime i had to film my TBR video. I ended up editing that TBR video and uploading that after work today. Taking the dogs on two walks, cooked dinner, and I thought I was gonna have time to finish this book as well. Your girl was clearly feeling delulu. Anyway, um, yeah, I am not gonna finish this today. In fact, I am literally just up to part two, which is page 137, which to be honest is quite good when you consider all of those things that I've just said. Like, so far today I've read what about 250 pages in total? That's pretty good for a Tuesday. Um, and I will still be reading more, so the day's not get over. In terms of this book, it's not been amazing so far, okay? But I feel like things have been set up and what just happened at the end of part one, I'm now very much looking forward to reading on. Uh, I can't really say much because I don't want to give any spoilers and at this point like I can't really say much about the plot of this book because that would just be giving major spoilers. I'm gonna stop talking now. I feel like I have spoken loads today so i'm sorry about that if i have and you're already sick of me because we still have two more days of this to go um but i'm gonna leave it there for today and i will speak to you tomorrow and we will see how far i managed to get tonight before i say anything please ignore <laughs> my appearance today i literally look like an egg i've not got like any makeup on i've not even filtered my eyebrows but to be honest i just didn't have time last night i think i ended up getting to about page 180 of this, which 
I'm in two minds about because like I'm way behind um, from where I wanted to be at this point in this video but at the same time yesterday was a work day I was really busy with other stuff like for YouTube as well and I still read about 300 pages which I think is pretty good going honestly I think my main downfall was on Sunday because we were out all day on a Sunday um, we drove like an hour north and met up with some of Ollie's friends and went on a dog walk and then grabbed lunch and yeah it just meant that I just didn't have much time for reading on Sunday and that would have been obviously a really good day <laughs> to have like a full day of reading so it set me back a bit anyway this book I am now up to page 200 goes without saying that my plan for today is to try and finish this book and start the next book obviously tomorrow is the last day of this challenge so yeah I really need to keep up with the reading and yeah so that is the plan I am currently on page 206 I did like a tiny bit of reading this morning but but not much because then I had zoom meetings from pretty early on it's currently lunchtime it's one o'clock I'm about to go and walk the dogs and then when I get back I'm going to try and squeeze in like half an hour of reading um, before I have to get back to work and then obviously as soon as I finish work guess what we're going to be doing more reading um so yeah that's where we are this book, I still stand by I don't think I'm getting the same feelings about it as I did the first two books. I just feel like some of that excitement has gone. But where we are up to now, I feel like the plot is more interesting to me and it now kind of feels like the real like build up to the finale of this book. Like I'm assuming there's going to be a big like battle scene um, and stuff in this book. That I'm excited for, I'm looking forward to see how it all plays out I'm looking forward to hopefully my like favorite characters all being back together again I think that's all I've got to say for now so I will check in with you when I've done some more reading pages in so I still have a lot of reading to do but I do just have one complaint to make about this book slash series in general. You get these side characters who you get really invested in and you get invested in their stories and the romance there but in this series we don't get their POVs and that means that it feels like you're not getting the full picture and like I don't know I would just love to get their POVs in this book and we don't get them. That's a shame and I think especially in this book it feels like we're missing that. It is Halloween aka the 31st of October aka the last day of this month. Last night I did manage to finish A Reign of Rose. I definitely didn't like this as much as I liked the first two books in this series unfortunately. I do think that the ending was just a bit rushed like everything kind of just came together too quickly and I think that the majority of the book moved so slowly like especially the first half and it just meant that the end was rushed which was definitely a shame and also I think I said about the fact that there are two side characters in this series who are quite prominent throughout the series and so is a romance between them but we never get to hear from their perspectives we don't really get to see much of the romance and that's a bit disappointing I'm not sure if there's a plan for them to have their own books or if we're going to get a novella or something like that um because yeah I would have really liked to see more of them so those are kind of my complaints about this I do think often when it comes to romantic books 
I tend to not like the last book in the series as much as I like the other books. I know lots of people talk about middle book syndrome in romanticy and finding that yeah like the second book in the series is not that great. I never really find that. I often really enjoy the second book. It's more the last book that I struggle with and I think that's because it's really hard to get the pacing right, it's really hard to get that right balance between focusing on the romance and focusing on the plot and also what I will say is my favourite thing about romance books and romanticy as a genre is I love the like build up of the romance and often by the last book that romance is already very well established so that part of it I'm not as interested in anymore and that's why as I was saying yesterday I think that focusing on a side romance and giving us POVs from those characters I think can really help a romantic series especially in the final book or the last couple of books um so yeah I think overall the first two books in this series were five stars for me I loved them I loved the romance in them this one I'm giving 3.5 stars I still very much enjoyed it but I was kind of just ready for it to be over I don't think that the overall plot of this series is that strong compared to some other like fantasy series that I've read um, and so very much like the five stars that I gave the first two books was very heavily based on the romance and because of then where we were at the start of this book and everything that happened throughout this book that romance couldn't really be as prominent. I don't know how to explain it but um yeah I'm giving it 3.5 stars. I still did like it, it just wasn't as good as the other books in my opinion like just for me other people may read this and prefer this to the other books um but yeah 3.5 stars and I'm glad to have the Sacred Stones series finished. Um, it's good to tick one off my list and I definitely still do recommend this series. I'll say the books are really quick and easy to get through which is nice in romanticy and I do love the main romance in this series. Okay, so that then leaves me with two books left on my TBR. So we have the book of Asriel, which I just have on Kindle, and we have Glow by Raven Kennedy. This is the first book in a new series. The series is Gods and Monsters, and it's by Amber Nicole. This one is the fourth book in the Plated Prisoner series. Now, as we are on the last day of October, I'm obviously not going to have time to read both of these unfortunately I just there are just not enough hours in the day for me to do that um so I kind of had to pick one of them and I ended up picking the book of Asriel because it's on kindle and last night after I finished Reign of Rose I wanted to do a little bit of reading in bed and I just wanted to read on my kindle to be honest but also this book is slightly shorter than this one I think this is like 500 and something pages and this one is like 600 and something pages oh no 700 this one's over 700 pages so that's one of the main reasons why I went for this one however I'm kind of regretting it because I know that these books are really quick and easy to read this less so I don't know if that's just because it's a new fantasy world and I'm still like getting used to it all um but yeah I'm not finding it that quick to read so I did start this last night and I did a little bit of reading this morning but I am literally 11% through or page what page am I on 57 and it says it's going to take me another 10 hours to finish this book so am I going to be able to finish it today hopefully we will see um as I said it is Halloween and there is a film that's come out on Netflix that I really want to watch um, and I'm going to watch that with Ollie because honestly these last few days like I've not really been spending any time with him because I've just been reading um, all evening so yeah I've said we'll watch that film together so I don't know I will try and read as much as I can I would love to get this finished I'm really enjoying this so far though it's like perfect vibes I feel like I can't really explain what it's about I'm still very much like at the start we don't really have like a full plot introduction yet um so I'm just gonna have a look at the actual blurb and try and summarize what this book is about for you so it is a dark romantic series it's available on kindle unlimited I don't think it's a complete series yet let me just check no so there's a fourth book coming out in May next year so it's not yet complete should I have started it I don't know <laughs> um so what does it say? A thousand years ago, Diana gave up her life in the deserts of Eoria to save her dying sister. She called upon anyone who would listen, not expecting a monster far worse than any nightmare to answer. Now she does what Caden asks, even if that means securing an ancient relic from the very creatures that hunt her. A king fought long dead and long forgotten. In the old world, his name was Samkiel. In the new world, it is Liam, but one title remains true throughout time. 
he is the world ender. Now enemies older than time must put aside their differences and work together in hopes of saving both their world and every realm in between. So that's like the Goodreads summary of this book. So far we have not met Sam Kiel or Liam. Um, we have met Diana and she is obviously our female main character. I'm intrigued to see where this book goes. I'm excited to meet our male main character. Um, I have heard very good things about him. As I said, this is a dark romantic, so I think that maybe our male main character is gonna be a bit morally grey. That's fine, I love a morally grey male main character in a romantic book. That's where we are. I'm not gonna lie, as I was starting this, I was kind of thinking, oh, why am I starting another series? Um, and that's the same for, I've picked, picked out my November TBR and I just have a few new series on there. Um, and I'm kind of regretting that. I'm mainly talking about um, fantasy, by the way, not romance. I don't mind <laughs> starting romance series. So even though I'm not gonna get to this in October, I think that maybe this will be my next pick. And the next book after this is on my November TBR. So maybe I'll just try and like read those two back to back. And then the last book in this series is also out, but it's only in hardback. So I don't wanna buy the hardback, but what I might do is just download it on Kindle and read it that way because I just feel like I want to get <laughs> some series closed off before I like properly dive into other ones. Um, like as I'm reading these, like, you know, when you're reading a fantasy book um, and I got this massively with A Reign of Rose, I was like starting this, trying to remember what had happened in the books before. And I was getting a little bit confused about like, wait, no, is that this series or is that the Kindred's Curse Saga? Is that the Plated Prisoners? Is that, I can't think what other series I've started, um, but quite a few recently. And yeah, I do want to get them finished off, but then it's also difficult when series aren't complete and I don't necessarily want to like read all the books that are out now and then have to wait a year for the next book to come out and then I'll have forgotten what's happened. I don't know, it's just such a minefield because it's so tempting to like start these series when you're hearing people talking about them and they sound exactly what you like and they sound like perfect. But then when it's not a complete series, it's really annoying to have to wait between them. And if you read a lot in that genre, it's very easy to get confused between the different worlds and the different plots and what's happened and the names of all of these different characters. So there you go. That is a little insight into my current struggle with the like fantasy genre in general. I love it. It's definitely my favorite genre, but I need to figure out a better way to read them that is not going to leave my brain in this like scrambled mess that I'm currently in all of the time because it does take away from the experience I think like when you're reading like the last book in a series and it's been a while since you read the other books in that series it takes you a good like 50 sometimes even 100 pages to fully get back in there and like remember everything that's happened and who everyone is and what they've done yeah i don't know anyway enough of that brain dump um let's focus on what we're actually here for and get some good reading done <laughs> I said about thinking that the male main character was probably going to be morally grey, but also our female main character is definitely morally grey with the things that she does. Yeah, I'm also really interested to see what her character arc is going to look like. This is so good, like I am absolutely loving it. One thing that I love is that both of our characters are on opposite sides of this kind of war and they both really believe that they are on the right side of the war and they can't understand each other's side of it at all. Um, so they really hate each other. And that's interesting getting both of their perspectives on like the history, the interactions between them are amazing. Like this feels like true enemies to lovers. Like they hate each other and I am loving that. Um, I do have to say though, it's taking me so long to read it. Like I feel like I have been reading this for hours and hours and hours and I'm only 26% through or page 135. It feels like I should be like at least 100 pages further than I am. Like it feels like I should be over 200 pages into this. And yeah, I'm barely over 100 pages in. So I don't know why it's taking me so long to read. I don't know if like the pages are just longer because I'm sure that when I've seen people hold the like physical copy of this book, it looks really thick. 
like a lot thicker than 500 pages or whatever it says it is on Kindle. children screaming outside. Children are so annoying sometimes. Um, okay, you will probably have seen, but yesterday I did not end up finishing the Book of Asriel. I got about just under 50% through. As I said, we wanted to watch a film because it was Halloween, so we ended up doing that. And then, basically all of last night, there were just so many fireworks. Where we live, there tends to be a lot of fireworks for Diwali and obviously it's also bonfire night weekend and there was just a lot of fireworks last night. They were constant until about 1am and one of our dogs is really scared of fireworks so we were kind of trying to distract him, playing some little games with the dogs um, and then like when we went up to bed I basically was just comforting him for hours. So yeah it was harder to get reading done than had been anticipated. Um, so I didn't actually end up finishing it yesterday. I have, however, finished it today. This is, today is the 1st of November. Um, so I have finished it today. Obviously, that doesn't count as an October read. It will be in my November wrap up and included is as one of my November reads. Before I talk about anything else, I'm just gonna summarize my thoughts on this book. Um, one thing to say is I went into this book thinking that we were gonna have a morally gray male main character. That is not true at all and that is like my fault for not looking up a summary at all. I I've just seen that this was a dark romantic and that there was a morally grey character and I just assumed um, and my assumptions were very much wrong. It's actually our female main character who is morally grey. Our male main character is actually quite a good guy. Um, he is a bit grumpy but he is a pretty decent guy. That is one thing which it was like a pleasant surprise to have a morally grey female main character because often yeah it is the male main character who is morally grey and our female main characters are often these like perfect um, women and yeah she is not that. If I'm talking personal preference like I do like a male main character who is a bit bad. I'm not going to comment any more on that but um yeah so anyway I ha did enjoy the book. I do think like I don't know why it just read so slowly like ugh, it literally just felt like the percentage was just not going up like it just felt like the time left in book was so long um yeah I don't know it was just taking me so long to read. Overall I did enjoy it. I think it's an interesting plot and world. It's definitely not like my favourite romantic that I've read recently but I think it was good. I think I'm gonna give it four stars. For a lot of it, I thought I was gonna give it four and a half stars, but then, I don't know, the last like 15% kind of disappointed me a little bit. Um, I'm definitely intrigued to see where things go in the second book, but I don't know, like, I was really feeling the like building of the romance and I liked all of that, but then I felt like it came a bit too quickly towards the end of the book and that leaves me feeling a bit less excited about the next book. And also I found out this is gonna be a seven book series. So only the first three books are out so far. I think the fourth book is coming out in like May next year and it's gonna be a seven book series. And I'm not sure if the whole series is gonna focus on these two as our main characters or if it will like switch to different main characters. Um, because if it does, I'm thinking like, how are we gonna drag that like romance story out for seven books? Like 
for me that's going to get a bit boring for me personally i know that i will find that a bit boring if that is the case because i am somebody who like once our characters have like fallen in love and admitted that they're in love and that they want to be together and decide to be together it gets boring for me after that like i don't really care in books to see the happily ever after or to see them like as a couple like i don't know like that's just personally for me like I'm all about the journey to get there and once they're there like I like to see a little snippet of it sure but I it's not going to keep me reading and then these were the other three books I needed to read and I obviously got to Love Unwritten and A Reign of Rose and I did not get to Glow. Love Unwritten to be honest has probably been my favourite book that I've read in this video I just loved it like it was just so quick and easy to read and I think maybe because I just haven't been reading much romance at the moment I just really enjoyed that. I'm not somebody who these days can read loads of romance books back to back because I just find myself not caring. Like they're not high stakes. Um, I find them, I find that they can be a bit repetitive, but by spacing them out with like other genres, I am definitely enjoying them more again. So I'm happy about that because I honestly was at a point where I was thinking, I just don't know if I'm a romance reader anymore. And I definitely am. I just have to space out with other books. And I really enjoyed this one. Um, I liked the first one in the series as well. I think I'm definitely a Lauren Asher girl. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed that. And I can't remember what I rated it. I think I probably gave it four stars. I would maybe want to give it like 4.25 stars if I'm gonna be specific. It honestly could have been 4.5 stars if it just was a little bit shorter because I just think it didn't need to be that long. But at the same time, I really loved all of it. So I don't really know. It's sitting somewhere between four stars and four and a half stars. A Reign of Rose, I think, I gave a pretty good summary on my feelings about this book. Uh, I gave it three and a half stars and that is what I'm gonna stick with. For me, this was just like typical for me in terms of like the last book in the trilogy being my least favorite. Like that just happens a lot um, with romanticy, with fantasy romance, like because I'm just like, as I said, once the romance is very established, I lose a bit of interest, especially if the plot is not strong enough to hold my interest on its own. And I do think that the lack of attention given to the side characters and side romance let this one down. I had really high expectations for it and it, yeah, it just let it down a bit. I'm still not sure if there's gonna be a like spin-off series to this following some of the side characters because, because surely the author didn't really explore that side of things maybe because there's a plan for that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so three and a half stars for this one. And then obviously I did not get to Glow. So this is the only book from my October TBR that I have not read. Um, I might pick this up next to be honest and read it at the start of November because I have put the next book in this series on my November TBR. So I definitely do want to get to this soon. It's just quite chunky. And after reading the book of Asriel, I kind of feel like I want to give myself a break from long fantasy books but at the same time, I don't know. I'm actually going to my parents this weekend and I think I'm gonna bring this with me as well as my Kindle and see what I fancy reading. All in all, I'm like, okay with how this went. Um, I would have really liked to finish my TBR, but it was a 10 book TBR and I have read nine of the books that were on my TBR and normally I would only have an eight book TBR. So technically like I've done pretty well against like what my normal TBRs look like. It's just, I didn't finish this specific one which is a shame. Anyway, if you are still here and have made it to the end of this video, thank you, I appreciate you. Please don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to see you in my next video. Bye.